Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Bushcraft on Tracks. You'll have to uh, forgive me, my sinus is really acting up today, so it kind of sound kind of funny. But uh, we're inside, we're up in my room, I've got a little uh, table set up here where I'm going to try to do some different type of reviews on different items and things uh, when I can't get outside or if the weather is not permitting. Today it's actually a rather nice day out, but all my neighbors seem to be doing yard work. Uh, exactly when I have some free time. One of the neighbors is, is cutting up and doing some tree work and stuff like that. So it was just too loud to try to film outside. So I figured today would be a good time to try out the uh, table tabletop review here. And what I wanted to show you today was a knife I've been carrying as my EDC for about a month now, probably three weeks at least. And that is... Uh, a knife from Blind Horse Knives and is the PLSK2. Uh, the reason I went with the PLSK2 is because of the size of the blade. Here in Tennessee, you, we are not allowed to carry a blade that has a cutting edge longer than four inches. So the Pathfinder 1 uh, is kind of out, and my actual critter blade, my, my survival knife, if you will that I carry when I'm in the woods all the time uh, is a five inch blade as well. So it is an inch over our, our legal limit that we're allowed to carry. So I wanted a smaller blade that I could carry on my hip, um, you know, whether I was going into the grocery store or, or what have you, and just get used to carrying a fixed blade. Plus, uh, I believe Critter posted a message on Facebook one day, and I believe he was uh, quoting someone else or referring to something someone had said. I can't remember the exact context, but basically the quote was that the survival knife you have packed in your you know, bug out gear, or packed in your pack that's sitting next to your bed ready to go is not really your survival knife. The survival knife is the knife that's on you at all times in every situation. So I've been really kind of thinking about that a lot lately and I wanted to get a knife that was fully capable and that I could keep on my hip at all times. So I chose the four inch cutting edge of the Pathfinder 2 or the PLSK2 if you look on Blind Horse Knives website. So let's uh, dive into this and take a closer look at it. Right away here, let's just get this out of the way. You can see the uh, deer antler handle ferro rod I have. This was given to me at the uh, 2010 gathering by uh, Steve Davis, Critter and it's just held on there by a leather thong that he'd put on there and uh this this ferro rod is actually the wrong diameter for this um sheath but because it's extra long and the uh, thong kind of pulls down cinches down tight it holds it in really well so uh it doesn't bother me it doesn't make any noise or anything like that so go ahead and get that out of the way but uh yeah, I carry that, just kind of sentimental, and it, it works really well. Now, as you can see, this isn't any regular uh, Pathfinder 2. It's, it's really kind of a one-of-a-kind. On the outside of the sheath here, laser etched with a great amount of detail, actually, is the Bushcraft on Tracks logo. The uh, guys at Blind Horse hooked me up and uh, did me a huge favor and got that, got that put in there. And... I'm impressed. I mean, it's 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 super crisp. There's a lot of little intricate cuts and things that have been that have been done that I've never seen anything like it as far as leather work goes. I'll try to get some real tight shots of that for you later. And uh, the sheath is very you know strong and, and uh, well made, like we would expect from Blind Horse. There's a lot of wear and beating and banging here on the sheath that you can probably see. And that is simply because of my balancing issues I have. I always have to really kind of maintain three points of contact. And usually that's with my both my feet and my hands. But a lot of times I'm trying to use both hands so I lean on things a lot with my hips. And I inevitably am constantly leaning on the sheath. So there's a lot of war wounds already 
and stuff like that. But that's okay because that just uh, adds character. And as long as I'm not tearing up the sheath, it's uh, good to go. I've also wet formed this sheath to fit this knife. Uh, Scooter did a video on that not too long ago. And I did it almost immediately. It came out about the time I got this sheath. So I tried it. It was super easy. It took a couple days to dry. And it looks really well. Holds the knife really well. And I uh, couldn't be happier with it. Now let's take a look at the knife here. Because this knife sits so low in the sheath, which helps to retain the knife very well, and I have a lot of problems with fine motor skills and manipulating things um, with my fingertips and stuff, it was kind of a hassle to get this knife in and out when it was on my person. Now, obviously, I can get it in and out fairly well here, but when it was on my belt, it was kind of a hassle to get in and out without cutting the sheath all up. So all I did was put a really small lanyard and just put a diamond knot on the end of that just to give me something to hang on to I draw it keep it on my right hand side but I'm trying to do this so you can see I kind of just grab that with my pinky and then just pull the knife and that allows me to get my front two fingers on it really well and get a good stable grip and from there I can just reposition the knife in my hand so it works out really well plus that gives me a little added leverage if I ever needed to you know slide my hand back on the knife the knife itself is just a beast of a knife I don't have all the specs on it but you can go to uh, BHK's website and check that out I'll put a link in the description box it is a Scandi ground knife and it is basically a replica of the PLSK1 minus the jimping and it's a little shorter in size now what makes this knife different from all the other PLSK2s out there is the actual Bushcraft on Tracks logo has been etched into the knife right next to the Pathfinder logo. And it's etched on there, it's not going to rub off or anything like that, It's it just looks amazing. Again the detail that was put into the logo, I sent, them the, I sent the laser company the file and I was really impressed with the quality they were able to print onto the knife so here it is guys my PLSK2 I just want to give you guys a, a quick rundown of that and this is my EDC I've been trying it out everything you know thus far has been working great and it's definitely holding up to all the tasks I have I've put it through a little bit but still got a lot more tests to go through so this is it guys thanks for watching See you on the next episode of Bushcraft on Tracks.